This video is brought to you by ASAP12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hey guys, ASAP here doing the fourth C++ tutorial. And before we start, I just want to uh, take a look at this new site I've designed. I've, well, I haven't redesigned it entirely. I've just changed the banner and these two navbar images and I've added this sort of header thing here so I just wanted to uh, mention that I thought it was pretty cool it's on all the pages and also with all these uh, videos it's there so I know it's kinda lame but I just wanted to mention it because I think it's pretty cool uh, <laughs> anyway moving on now we're gonna go on to the C++ part of it and um, I just want to cover three things I missed on the previous tutorial and that's going over three thing three keywords called type modifiers so uh, first of all if you've forgotten types are these so int is a type float is a type double is a type bool is a type and char is a type and these are all called primitive types because later on quite a bit later on though we're gonna start making our own variable types uh, and that's this is why they're called primitives because they they are primitive they are the very basic variable types even a string isn't called a primitive because it has a uh, it's it's different basically it's hard to explain at the moment where we are but it is different to these primitive types so anyway the three uh, type modifiers we're going to be going over are the the short modifier, the long modifier, and the um, the unsigned modifier. So first, we're going to cover the short modifier, and just because I want to make it a bit clear, I'm going to make a new item, and I'll just call this tmp.cpp. Uh, okay, I'll just include the IO stream. You know, we don't actually need it because we're not going to be outputting anything uh, in this file. But anyway, so the first keyword I said is short, and you can see here Visual C++ has highlighted it blue because it is in fact a keyword. Now, the uh, f this short modifier, type modifier, can only modify the int primitive variable type. So it can only have short ints. And um, basically what this does is remember when I f we uh, first started looking at variable types and I talked about how much space a variable reserves for instance a char on your it reserves hardly any space because it only needs enough uh, for one ASCII character and bool doesn't reserve much space because it only needs enough space uh, for either a 0 or a 1 determining whether it's true or false and then doubles uh, occupy more space than floats because floats just a smaller double and int occupies the most space well this space is all down to uh, the maximum value basically uh, and for ints the maximum value it can have is well it basically it varies from compile to compiler I'm pretty sure though well actually I'm not very sure at all um, I think it's somewhere around from minus two million to uh, positive two million for all in integers uh, on every single compiler, and all the short uh, the short mo type modifier does is change that from minus two million and plus two million down to um, around thirty th from minus thirty two thousand or thirty thousand sorry to plus thirty thousand. Uh, so if you've got a short if you've got a very small variable for instance say you have a health variable uh, and your health isn't gonna go anywhere near above 30,000 you might declare the um, the int <coughs> excuse me you might declare the int variable as short because you don't want it to reserve too much space but uh, yeah you don't want it to reserve too much space basically and the maximum and minimum values of short do enough for your needs uh, so that's what the short modifier is for now moving on the long modifier um, yeah, long num2 uh, 
uh, now I only know these values, the two, the two, around 2 million and around 30,000. They're values I know about Dev C++ because from a book I'm reading, it tells me. Uh, now I don't know the specific values and I'd have to look them up. I might supply them in de the description of this uh, video. But uh, anyway, I'd have to look them up and I don't want to do that right now. So basically, that's where those values are coming from. But according to my book, the long modifier the long type modifier doesn't actually modify the maximum or minimum value of an integer at all in dev C++ anyway that's all I'm saying uh, so in fact long is kind of obsolete for an integer um, but long is the only type modifier that can be uh, used on a different variable type and that's the double type so double one so long can be used on a double. It can't be used on a float though, I think. Uh, yeah, I think it can't be used on a float. Only a double as far as I'm aware. Uh, but that does, I think, it, again, increase and uh, increase the maximum value and lower the minimum value. So that's where long can uh, uh, comes into use. Now bearing in mind, sorry, in case I forgot to mention this, short can only be used on integer types whereas long can only be used on integer and double types and then this final type the type modifier I want to talk about is unsigned and it again can only be used on uh, integers uh, so num3 and all the unsigned type modifier does is make sure that um, that the variable can the variable value sorry can only be positive and uh, because it can only be positive, that's from naught to whatever the maximum value is. Sorry, that's just my internet going off there. So that's from naught to whatever the maximum value is. Um, you, because you don't have a negative, you then get more space for the positive number. So the positive increases, for instance, uh, from 2 million to 4 million, because whereas originally it was from... Uh, minus two million to two million it now goes from zero to four million so you get that extra space when you make it unsigned and remember how I was talking about health and an RPG or something you generally make the uh, health integer unsigned because of course you don't want the player's health going below zero you don't want that to happen because that doesn't happen for you know when you hit zero you die and you have to resurrect you, you can't go below zero, so that's where the unsigned mo type modifier can be used. And I just wanted to uh, cover that quickly, because um, I've been worrying, well I haven't been worrying, but I, I've just, that's something we need to talk about now before we go on to the next tutorial. And now we're going to go on to the next tutorial finally, so I'm just going to comment out this one here. Yep. And that's already in header files. I'm just going to comment out this one now. Okay, and move it over to the header files. Okay, and now I'll just close this quick. We're going to right click source files, click add new item, C file again. I'm going to call it N4 for C tutorial 4. Click add and. We're going to include IO stream again. Uh, now, before anyone starts asking, hey, what about string uh, variables? I will go over those. It's just we're not going to go over them quite now. We need to, we need to learn about input before we go over um, string variables. Um, okay, let's get on to it then. So, before we can start inputting uh, stuff into our um, into whatever. To, from our console application, we have to have something to input it into. Now, so, to input it into. Now, um, I lied slightly there. Remember how we've been using this std sin dot get. This does count as input. We are actually retrieving input here. We're just not assigning it to anything, um, and c because we're just using it as a way to hold the program, we don't need to assign it to anything. We just use it to hold the program. So uh, that we are taking input here. We're just not assigning it to anything. So as soon as we take it in, we're dumping it, and it can't ever 